sorry, I didn't see you there. This is a trans pad. And it took me ages to figure out how to make it sound nice and lush. And now, thanks to Serum, I know how to do it. So let's have a look at that now. Hey guys, I'm Reorder and I'm a trans DJ and a music producer. Today I'm gonna show you how to make sort of a JP8000 uh, pad for your next huge hit. We're gonna start by loading up a serum. Let's start by picking a saw here. So MB saw, let's go for eight voices. Let's fix the detune a little bit. And make it blend a little bit nicer. Okay, so first thing I wanna do, you see when you MB saw, when you move it around, this, this saw is like changing shape. I want to give the sound a little bit more life so it feels like an analog sound. So we're gonna use the LFO to make it, you know, move up and down. So we assign the LFO one here, the wave table position. Uh, not too much, just a little. So let's just do like over one bar. Not too much, just a little. So it's like moving a little bit when you play it. You see how it's moving up and down? So that's what we want. We'll do the similar thing here with the face, where we just want to. Put it on the face, and let's just do this like over four bars. So it's slowly moving left and right. So you can hear the like movement inside, so it feels more analog. We're trying to emulate it here now with Serum and the LFOs. Okay, now let's add a second OS here. We're gonna well, go for basic and CB. And let's again add eight voices here. And let's, I like the blend to be like a little bit more in the middle. Like, yeah. Uh, less volume, it's too loud. And let's fine tune this one a little bit like th this and this one like 20 something. Now it's starting to sound like what we are looking for, but it's still not there. We need to make it a little bit softer. So on the envelope one, I'm just gonna add a little bit more attack here. Just make it like really smooth. And we want some release. There we go. Something like this. And maybe a little bit more attack here. Just so it doesn't start so fast and abrupt. Let's see how it's gonna sound. Nice and wide, but let's add a little bit more noise there. So let's turn the noise on. Of course, we're gonna be using filter very soon. So let's go. Which one is a good one? Let's try the alpha and Z. Let's see how it sounds, just on its own. What you wanna hear? I would say it's good. I think it's like alright. Now if you want to make this like super 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 wide, you can come over here and just choose super, super 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 wide, super, and increase the number of voices on the unison. See, it's like super super crazy. So I like to keep this, for this one I'm just gonna keep it on two, but make it super. Okay, that's like super crazy. Let's go to the FX section and finish this. So first of all, I wanna add some uh, delay and reverb. Let's put them on top here. Let's go with 1.4 and 1.8 dot. I like these. Can add a little bit more mix here. And a ping pong would be a good idea. Can leave everything else as is, just for fun. Let's make this whole huge one, like eight seconds or something. A little bit of low cut. We don't even have to touch these two knobs. Okay, let's increase the mix. Let's see how it's gonna sound. Yeah, let's decrease that wet. It's a little bit too much. Starting to sound really nice, okay. Let's play a little bit more with the EQ here. And all I want to do is just to do a little bump here in the middle, just to make it a little bit nice and soft. So about 700 Hertz, you know, the mud. Just want to put it all away. Okay, a little wider and just like put it down, just to make it softer. Here we go, starting to sound nice. Okay, now let's assign the filter, as I said. So let's go with the, let's try it in 12. And let's put it down a little bit, make it nice. Oh, I forgot about the noise.
But what I want to achieve is when the filter is going up on the cutoff, I want the resonance to go up with it. So it goes down to zero. So let's just map it to the modulation knob. So we're going to do this one on the cutoff. And this one on the resonance. And we just don't want to go up here. Maybe like 20% up. And see how it's going to sound. Maybe too much resonance. And some fine tuning here. Let's put the reverb down to like 30% here. And it makes about 32. And I think this is pretty cool. I think we can like finish it off with this and let's see how it's gonna sound. We put it into a melody. Super quick. And one thing I forgot when I'm listening to this, uh, maybe a little bit more release. And if you add a little bit of the LFO tool on it, it's just gonna sound epic. And that's it guys, I hope you will use this sound well. And if you like this video guys, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss any future uploads. Thank you very much for watching and I can't wait to see you soon. Ciao!